What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, we received quite a few responses about our last Ableton Live video regarding managing plugins. Um, I want to apologize. It was a little misleading, and uh, clearly some people were not happy. So here's another video about organizing plugins in Ableton, this time with an actual tip. Let's dive in, shall we? Uh, here we have a blank Ableton session. It doesn't matter what, uh, it doesn't matter which session you're working in. I'm going to head over to my plugins over here and you can see I have all of my VST3 and audio units plugins enabled. Again, like the video from last time, head into settings, go to plugins, make sure that audio units is on and VST3 plugins is on. Then all your plugins will show up, including the session wire plugins. Now, a little bit of a workaround because of Ableton's lack of uh, proper organization for plugins. We're going to use the collections in the left hand browser menu. So if you hover over the word collections here and click edit, we will see all of these different tags show up, one of them being favorites. But then we have all of these other ones that we can make use of. So I'm going to take this orange one, click on it. Command or Control R, and I can rename it. This is going to be called, oops, Compressors. The yellow one, I'm going to right click on it or Command R, Control R, and rename it EQs. This one, Reverbs. And we're going to activate these so that they appear. And if I click Done, I'll have this little favorite list of collections up here that I can use plugins I use quite often. So let's go into my plugins list. We're going to find a couple of plugins to add. I use a lot of Plugin Alliance plugins, so let's see what we have under here. We have, uh, ooh, the Amec Mastering Compressor. Let's add that to the Compressors list by right-clicking on it and selecting Compressors. What about the EQ? We'll add that to EQs. We'll go to, oh, let's see here. Oh, why not? Purple Audio MC. We'll add that to Compressors. We'll add the Oven. Uh, eh, that'd be another one. Let's add it to Blue. And then we'll go and we'll edit the name of this to Saturation. There we go. So there's a, a quick tip in organizing your plugins. Uh, I know it's maybe not exactly what everyone had hoped for, but it's a quick and easy way to organize your plugins. Get the ones that you use most often at the top of mind in these little collections. And uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions or requests for videos, please tag them in your comments below. We'll do our best to uh, come up with something that satisfies everybody's requests. Uh, feel free to reach out to us at support at anytime. We're more than happy to connect and get you set up to start creating remotely.